Hey, in this tutorial, we are going to use Playmaker with Unity to go ahead and set up a UI slider that's going to represent rocket fuel and the amount of fuel that you have left. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here we are in Unity. Now I have a Playmaker FSM already set up. Now I have two states in that. I have rocket off and rocket on. Now what I'm doing with those is I'm controlling my player. So if I hit my mouse button down, the player is going to move up the screen. And then when I let go of my mouse, it's going to fall down because my player has a rigid body 2D on it. So let's see that in action real quick. So I have an animation that I'm turning on. I'm also playing a sound when I'm in the rocket on state. So let's take a look at the actions real quick just so you can see what those are. So I have a get mouse button down. When I have my left mouse button down, rocket on. I'm deactivating my jetpack. That's the animation that has the little rocket underneath of it. And then I'm also disabling this audio source, which is a looping uh, rocket sound. When I'm in my rocket on state, you can see that I am detecting if I let go of my mouse button. If I let go, then I'm going back to my rocket idle. The other thing that I have here is I'm turning on my jetpack. So you can see my little jetpack here. And then I'm enabling the audio source for the, the sound. So I'm turning, checking this box right here, turning that on. And then I'm also applying force to this character in the Y value. So I'm pushing the character up. Now I'm only able to do that because I have a rigid body 2D and then that rigid body 2D and then when I let go, that gravity is gonna pull it back down. So the thing that we wanna do here is to update our slider. Now this slider is gonna represent rocket fuel. So we need to set all that up. Now let's take a look at the slider that I have. So I've added a canvas and I've called it UI HUD. I have a slider, it's a UI slider. Inside of that is a background, the fill area, the fill itself, that's the color for the fill. And you can see that here is the cover over top of that. Whenever you add a UI slider, it has a little handle on it. I take that handle, I just delete it. And then I've rotated the slider 90 degrees in the Z value. I have that all set up. Now with the slider, you can see there's a value. It goes from zero to one. It's a normalized value. So when I'm at zero, it kind of represents 0%. If I'm at one, it represents 100%. So I wanna control this slider based off of how much rocket fuel I have. All right, let's set that up. So I'm gonna go back to my player that has the FSM on it. So I'm gonna start off in the rocket on state. When I'm in this state, I want to reduce my rocket fuel. So first I need to set up a variable that's rocket fuel. So I'm gonna go into my variables. I'm gonna add a float value. So I've got that set up as rocket fuel. Now I also wanna set the value here of one. So that's gonna be the initial 100% rocket fuel. And what I wanna do here is I want to subtract from that value every time or when we're in this rocket on state. So we're gonna do a float subtract because this variable is a float value. Add that on. And what variable is it that we want to subtract from? We're gonna subtract from our rocket fuel. And we're gonna subtract, I wanna subtract a little bit every frame i'm gonna i want one percent to be gone so in numeric value that's 0 0.01 and we're going to set this up to be every frame so we're subtracting from our fuel value but we also need to update that ui with that value so the way we're going to do that is to we're going to do a slider set value and it's saying hey you've got a problem this doesn't have a slider component well we are on our player and so that's the owner of the FSM. What we want to do is we want to specify our slider. So we choose specific game object. And I'm going to drag my slider down. And we want the value to be our rocket fuel value. So I'm going to check to use variable. And we're going to use our rocket fuel variable. When I've run out of fuel, I want to not be able to push the player up. I want to go back to this rocket off state. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a float compare. So we want to check to see if that value is zero. If it's zero, let's go to rocket off. So we're going to do a float compare. So we're going to check our rocket fuel. So I'm going to use variable. We're going to use our rocket fuel. Is our rocket fuel at zero? Um, and our tolerance here is zero. So we're going to do equal. If it's equal to zero, we're going to go to our rocket off state. If it's less than, we're going to go to our rocket off state. And we're going to do that every frame. All right. 
So let's give this a test real quick to see if it works. So here we're starting to use our fuel. It is updating the UI, which is awesome. And once I run out, boom, I can't fly anymore. So I can continually try to go to rocket on, but it's always forcing me to go to rocket off. Cool, so that works. Now, that's torturous to the player to never be able to have that. So there's ways you can maybe have a power up where you add fuel that the player reaches the add fuel, or when you're in the idle state, what I wanna do is I'm gonna continually add fuel back. So you can do this with health, you can do it with mana. There's a lot of different things that you can use it for. But in this case, I'm using it for rocket fuel. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse everything that we just did. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my slider value. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. I'm gonna put that into my rocket off state. We're gonna do a float add instead of a float subtract. So I'm gonna do float add. So we're going to add some rocket fuel back. So I'm going to choose my variable, which is my rocket fuel. I want to add 0 0.001. So it's a lot slower than when we subtract. That way it kind of forces you to choose when to use it and when not to use it. And I'm going to update that every frame. When we're in this state, it's going to continually add. Now, the problem that I have is that we can go beyond one value, which is equals 100%. So I don't want it to go past one. So what we're gonna do is a float clamp. I'm gonna add a float clamp value. I'm gonna have that be at the very end. And I'm gonna choose my rocket fuel. And I want to set the max value. I never wanna go past one, okay? So we have everything in place, so let's give this a test. So if I, I can use up my rocket fuel, and when I'm in my idle state, you can see that my rocket fuel is being added back slowly. And you can play with the numbers to see what works best for you. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.